Hello, 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 your favorite YouTuber is back with a new video. <laughs> okay, that was just a joke. I, I, I'm trying to crack some jokes so I get more subscriptions from you guys. Okay, <laughs> All right, that, that was a joke too. Okay, so in this video, as you probably saw from the title, I'm going to show you the keyboard, mouse, and um, geometry that comes with Silo. So let's start with the simple stuff. Well, I don't know what I why I did this because it's a, it's really simple, <laughs> extremely simple. It's basic. Well, it's basic for you to use, but it wasn't basic for me to make it. That that's for sure. All right, so let's see if you press a certain but certain buttons, what's going to happen. And also for this, I have made. Yeah, and if you if you are hearing that, that that's my my lovely parrot. All right, so I I got here some some stuff. Okay. So yeah, let's check if you press the button D, E or A. So if love the keyboard is down, Q, uh, yeah, I, I, I know I said something else, but yeah. W, Q and W, then M, print, hello, Q2, okay? So I press the Q button and yeah I don't know why but it's not showing here. Hello YouTube. Uh, just for you to trust me, I'm going to put here button key, not button. A. So I press the button. A and now I press the W and I close it. Sub bra and hello YouTube. And yeah, as you can see, even though I pressed only once the key, it show me it shows me that I pressed it multiple times. And yeah, that's fine in certain situations. But maybe some sometimes you just want to check if I press it once then only give me the response once, not twice or 11 times, okay? So in order to do that, there is a special function called function love that mouse pressed. And it's taking a couple of parameters. Uh, wait, did I say mouse pressed? <laughs> uh, it's not mouse pressed. That's for sure. It's um, key pressed. Key pressed. And you have the key that you want to check against. So if key equals O, then print back. Sorry about that. O has been pressed totally spelled wrong but yeah who cares I don't you shouldn't so right now I press the O button O has been pressed and it shows me only once so yeah as you can see let's recap you have this function named of the keyboard that is down which can handle multiple um, buttons at once I mean check if the buttons you type there are being pressed I don't know why I keep saying buttons when they are keys but yeah whatever and now you have the function named love that key pressed with, which only checks uh, once if the key has been pressed and only displays outputs the outputs the result once okay then let's let's move on to 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 mouse so yeah uh, let's do this uh, oh well there is another st stuff function love key 
released key. So if key equals to R, then print R has been released. And I press the air button and now it has been released but I don't know if it's alright so let's press O so O O has been pressed and as soon as I leave the key the O key it's going to tell me O has been released so yeah the same goes for um, for mouse function love that mouse pressed and you have x, y and the button now you might be wondering why do you need the x, y and the why do you need x, y well maybe you want to check something like this if the mouse x and y position it's uh, 200 and 200 and the button that's being pressed it's uh, I know the, the left button from the mouse then do something so that's the only way you can check if the position of the mouse is there and the button is there but finish that <laughs> all right so let's say something like this uh, if the button is L which stands for left let's get camera pointer <laughs> okay so if the button is, uh, <laughs> sorry about that, uh, yeah, I should probably inform you that uh, I'm a programmer, not a YouTuber, so yeah, but I'm trying to become a YouTuber, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, if the button it's the button that's pressed, it, it's, it's left, so the, let me show you on my, uh, so if, if this button is being pressed uh, then uh, print left is pressed okay left is pressed and yeah it only records once but I pressed it multiple times like a retard and that's why it shows me more so yeah let's do something like this if button no 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 um, so if I press the button uh, left, then uh, you have left, you have right, and you have uh, the middle. So yeah, if the left is being pressed, then let's say that it's pressed, and also let's uh, display the coordinate of the position. Back, back, back. So left is pressed. Position, position, position. Okay. And the same goes for mouse released three times. Uh, wait, did I spell it wrong? Oh, <laughs> I didn't. Mouse is released. It took me a while to figure that out. Yeah, and that's why I'm not going to be hired by Google. Uh, yeah, so left is pressed, is released at the same time as you can see because I press it and then I release it. So yeah, display it to me. And yeah, so as you can see, it's working just uh, just fine. And, uh, maybe you you see here that the values are different. Well, that's because I press a button, it shows me the values, and then I release it, but in the same time, I moved a little bit the mouse, and then I release it. So the values changed. So that's why the values are not exactly the same. Okay? Right. And I think there is one more function that I should... That I should uh, present you with, and I'm just going to copy and paste it because I'm too lazy, brah. So yeah, let's make it here, and I'm going to explain you what it is. So 
So let's write it. Oh, okay. All right. So that's wrong. Please, please do not kill me. Uh, pop, 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 pop. Oh, shit. Okay, so um, let's paste it here. Okay, so let's run it. Type something. Vlad. Ureshan. He, he, he. And as you can see, the space works. But the backspace do, does not, because that's something that you have to program. Uh, and let me show you what just happened. So, first of all, I created a local variable named text. And I say that that, 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 phew, that text is nothing. It has no stuff inside it. It's basically a null terminated uh, string, which I don't know if uh, Lua supports that, but... Then you have load that load, which loads everything, but you already know that. And then I say text equals to something, doesn't matter what. And then I say load that text input t. So yeah, basically right now the text is going to become itself and plus something, plus something that I've been I'm, I pressed on the keyboard. All right. So after that, I'm going to draw in the log that draw. I I I put here print a text, and here's a print a text which I'm not going to tell you about that right now. So yes, as you can see, uh, Vlad. Okay. Okay. So basically, that means Vlad is cool. Uh, in, in Romanian, yeah. But you don't care about that, do you? So yeah. And after that, I'm I'm printing the the value that text currently hold, holds, which it's going to be the initial text and plus something that you type on your keyboard. And this can be helpful in your video games that you are going to develop in Silov because Silov it's fucking awesome. And then there is this function that yeah, perhaps you are going to use it more than text input and that's love that will move so the only way uh, the only correct way to check if the wheel is being uh, moved up or down or it's not move or moved at all it's by using love that will down move, will move which is going to take a parameter which is will so if will is different than zero, which zero means it's still, it, it doesn't move, then print something. If you're going down with the wheel, it's going to print a negative value. If it's up, it's going to print a positive value. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you, uh, you learned something. So as you can probably see, even though if you are maybe a beginner, uh, it's easy. So everything that's here, it's extremely easy. And yeah, it's a lot easier than Legix, than Monogame, than other C, C++ uh, frameworks, which are super hard. But I mean, super hard compared to what I have. It's not that hard to develop, but it's a lot harder than in OpenGL. So yeah. Trust me, I know that. <laughs> All right, so enough fooling around. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. Uh, I hope that Silov has every function related to input that you are looking for. And I think it has. Um, the next thing that I'm going to add in Silov is gamepads because right now Silov does not have keypads, but I'm not sure when I'm going to add that because I don't I don't own a gamepad. So when I will, I will add the feature. Uh, until then, I can't because I don't have something to test with. So yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and yeah, see you see you next time. Peace.